This video was sponsored by Power Circle Clothing and Headbusters Food Company in association with Cook Up Unlimited. Cook Up! It's not a podcast! Dennis here, back with another video. Y'all already know what to lick, read. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button. It's greatly appreciated. So, tonight, we got some items. You know, I always like to do my uh, latest, greatest items tonight is we're going to be checking out the Olipops. That's right, the Olipops. Okay, so I was watching uh, my main man, Badlands Chuds, on YouTube the other night, and I noticed that he was—he always drinking some interesting drinks. Sometimes he gets some from overseas, sometimes he gets something that you might not never seen before. Something a little more on the exclusive side. So um, I decided, so he, I came across this brand called Olipops, and it was quite interesting. Now I might've seen these in Walmart, or if you actually y'all know, I'll be going to Walmart. And uh, I wanted to get one flavor in particular that I'm, I'm not showing tonight. And um, and that's the banana cream flavor. That's what really turned me on to it. So um, I guess the banana cream flavor is like the best seller. So I couldn't get that for you tonight, but I did order some Olipops from Walmart and I got strawberry vanilla. Y'all see that? All right, focus. Y'all see that? Ah, now focus on me. Strawberry vanilla Olipop. This is supposed to be what I like to call a healthy version, a healthy alternative for drinking pop. Now, I myself, I don't drink a lot of pop, but I love me some ginger ale and I drink me an occasional Dr. Pepper, you know what I'm saying? But this right here um, sparked my interest because look, check it out. It supports the digestive system. It, support, it supports digestive health. And not only that, it's got prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. Okay, it's sparkling tonic, non-GMO, only three grams of sugar in this can. Now, let's go over to what it's made with. Now, it's got carbonated water, and it's got something they call Ali Smart. Now, Ali Smart is a uh, cassava root fiber, chicory root in inulin, and Jerusalem artichoke inulin, noble cactus, calendula flower, kedzu root, and marshmallow root, slippery elm bark, and then, so that makes up the Ali Smart. I guess that would make up the Ali Smart. I'm actually reading this. If I ain't pronounced the words wrong, don't butcher me for it. I did the best I can. And then it's also got strawberry juice concentrate, cassava root syrup, apple juice concentrate, lemon juice, stevia leaf. You know, I'm gonna look this up. And my favorite, pink Himalayan salt, natural vanilla flavor and natural strawberry flavor extract. So that what consists of the ingredients inside this thing. I haven't heard nothing about citric acid. It doesn't have corn syrup, so it's definitely some, some vegan type stuff. So just off the rip, I'm almost assume like this some sort of diet drink. Like, you know, if you drink sparkling tonic, uh, feel free. What's that little rich people drink? I can't think of the name of it, but they buy it all the time. And it's like, you know, alternatives to pop. And I guess this is one of them. So we're going to check this out. Now, Olipops obviously is getting to the money because I went to their website and man, they selling these joints like what, $35 a case, $40 a case for like 20 something cans. So, but they also, you can buy these in Walmart. So we're going to give this a check out. All right. We're going to pour that up in there. As y'all can see, bottoms up. Okay, it's got that sizzle. Mm. Okay, I, I taste the strawberry flavor. I taste the vanilla. It definitely don't taste like your traditional pop. It's more like a, a flat, a flat pop with a little sparkle in it. It's like it don't have that medicine taste like diet pop. It don't even taste, it don't have that aftertaste like diet pop neither, but it's not bad. It ain't terrible, but it's not bad. If it was bad, I wouldn't be drinking it. So I'm gonna save some of this here for my wife, Carol Nicole, but she wants to try this out. And then upon ordering my Olipops from Walmart, I wanted the, it was a different flavor, but instead they substituted some of my, I, I got, actually got all strawberry vanillas because I couldn't get the banana cream. Now, I'm not a huge fan of root beer, but root beer is good with root beer floats. So for all my root beer lovers, this one's for you. 
So this is, uh, yet again, the healthy alternative to root beer. So I'm gonna finish this drink, but before I do that, let's run down these ingredients, all right? Shall we? Okay, so this one's got purified water, uh, the Ollie Smart, which I explained, that's in, you know, the, basically the same ingredients as in the strawberry vanilla uh, drink. Moving along, they got apple juice, lemon juice, organic root beer flavor extract, stevia and burdock root, pink rock salt, vanilla bean essence, and sweet birch extract. So that's the, the curveball. So they switched the ingredients up just a slight bit, just to give it a little bit of uh, individuality and authenticity. And this, unlike the strawberry vanilla, it also has, this one has three grams of sugar, remember? And this one has two grams of sugar and it's non-GMO, same slogan. So we're gonna get into this, but before I do that, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, make sure you go to www.powercircle.biz and get you some of that Hair Buses all-purpose knockout seasoning, which is exclusively available on www.powercircle.biz and it's free shipping. That's right, free shipping. So go ahead, buy as many as you want, shipping's on me. So anyway, let's get back to the vlog. Okay, now, I might have a little bit of aftertaste from the strawberry in this. Let's move that to the side, and let's get into the root beer. Mm, okay. okay. So, it's got that, as y'all, can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? So it's got that root beer sizzle. Now the sizzle go away real fast, okay? So don't be expecting like A&W or nothing like that. This is a vegan alternative. This is a healthy version of pop. So off the smell, I can smell the root beer. So it smells like root beer. Let's see if it tastes like root beer. Let's get it. It tastes like root beer. Once again, it's like a flat version of root beer. Doesn't have that bad diet aftertaste. It actually tastes like root beer through and through. Actually, on the root beer side, even though I'm not a huge fan of root beer, but this actually tastes pretty good to be a root beer because it's got that root beer taste. Um, you really can't tell the difference between this and the A&W root beer. I mean, you can, and you can definitely taste like the high fructose syrup, the citric acid, you know, it's got that bark to it where you, uh, you know how it is when you drink pop, got that little, you know. But this definitely is a cool alternative. So, with that being said, like I said, I'm not a huge root beer fan, but I, I mean, I drink root beer from time to time. I mean, my old man loves root beer. My daughters love root beer. And you know, my, my pops used to make the root beer floats. So that's why I enjoy root beer the most. But this actually tastes like root beer, and it don't it don't hang, it don't taste like a diet pop, and it's a healthy alternative. And once again, I like the fact it supports digestive health. So with that being said, so here's the verdict. All right, would I buy this again? Like if I'm on like a health kick and I don't want to drink no juice or anything like that, do I recommend this? Absolutely, freaking lutely. Actually, I mean. The strawberry vanilla is, ain't as bad. It's, um, it actually tastes, it, it's not bad. And you know, like I said, for an alternative, that's not bad. So if you ever wanna, you know, have a little flavor in your life, uh, I definitely um, recommend Olipops. Shout out to Olipops. Um, I could do without the vanilla in this. If I, if I had to give a, a, a con about this, is a, I can do without the vanilla personally. I mean, it's cool, but if it had like a, uh, some citric acid in it, then the vanilla would be all point. I recommend, you know, the, if it was just strawberry, it'd be definitely a, all the way. So I give it on a scale of one to five, I probably give it like a cool three. We ain't gonna even do them that bad. But the root bill, on the root bill scale, I give it like a four. You know, if you know if you wanna put it up against some root bills like it, this is pretty impressive to be a healthy root bill. I just poured me another cup of it. Just to, cause I can't believe it. It does have that root bill. It's like, you got that sizzle. It just don't have that bark like pop do. But you, you get the sizzle, you know, obviously it ain't, it ain't no citric acid in it, so, but it's purified water, not even seltzer water, or like as opposed to the carbonated, it's carbonated water in this and purified water in this. 
Now, if you ask me which one tastes closer, which one tastes like pop, like the closest to like regular pop, I would say I give the root beer the nod. Which one do I prefer? As you can see, I just poured a second cup of this. I'm gonna save this because I want my wife to try this. So I think that's gonna end my vlog for tonight. So once again, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. So I'm gonna go on ahead, man, get my thumbnails on. And I'm gonna, um, hey man, I'm gonna drop this uh, ASAP. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm a, I'm done with wrestling for the night. Um, we cooked a delicious meal. I actually made some of, uh, you know, as an added bonus for y'all. I actually made like some personal cheesecakes. This is my Oreo. Ah, ah, see that? This is Oreo cookie cheesecake. You get that? You see that? See, you know, I tried to get fancy with the Oreo. So I made like some little quick snacks for the kids and the wife. So I made like some individual no-bake cheesecakes. This is my plain Jane. And um, I do have, um, this is strawberry, even though there's no fruit on top, but I, I do, I did have the fruit on top, but this one right here, the fruit is actually inside the cheesecake. If, I don't know if y'all see that, but you can actually see a little speck or the pink. But yeah, man, these is no big, kept them on chill. They're actually pretty good. Then I made some of the banana cheesecake. You did? I, I took a bite. Excuse the, the hole in the cheesecake. You know, that was my cut. I took a piece of it, but I want y'all to see this. So I'm gonna take it out the thing. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, so I'm gonna try to get this. All right, see that? That's the banana in the inside. That's the clean slice, because I had it in the freezer. You know, put that thing in the freezer overnight or in the refrigerator. You can see the bananas in that. So this is my banana individual cheesecake. I mean, I would have did a video on that, but man, this was like an impromptu from last night. You know, we were just experimenting on some stuff. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Just wanted to show you that real quick as an added bonus. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here real quick. One more time for the fun time. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Make sure you go to www.com.biz. And y'all know my slogan, keep God first, stay sucker free, and by all means, get to the money. Peace and love, stay healthy. I'm out. Peace.